Hello everyone. Today we'll solve a Pascal question on averages. The question is: A class consists of twenty boys, thirty girls. In the mid-semester examination, the average score of the girls was five higher than that of the boys. In the final exam, however, the average score of the girls dropped by three, while the average score of the entire class increased by two. The increase in the average score of boys is. So let me assume that the average marks of the girls. in mid semester examination it is g and we have been given that it was 5 higher than that of the boys so average of boys in the same mid semester examination it will be g minus 5 so using this can we find out the total number of marks of the whole class yes there were 20 boys so 20 g minus 5 will be the total marks of boys and there were 30 girls so 30 g will be the total marks of these girls So this will be equal to fifty g minus hundred. This will be the total marks of the whole class. Now somewhere in the question we are also talking about the average score of entire class. So this is the total marks of the whole class. What will be the average of whole class? Since we have fifty students, so fifty g minus hundred by fifty. This will be the average of entire class during this mid semester examination. This will be equal to g minus two. Now, when we come to the final exam, in the final exam, the average score of girls dropped by three. So now, in the final exam, girls they have average marks. Earlier it was G, now it will be dropped by three G minus three. This will be the average marks of girls in the final exam. While the average of the entire class increased by two. So during the mid semester examination, the average of whole class was G minus two. Now it will be increased by two. So of whole class, the average marks will become g minus two, and if we increase it by two, so we get g. So during the final exam, if I find out the total number of marks scored by the whole class, so marks by the whole class, the average of whole class is g. So total marks will be fifty g because there are fifty students. What we are ultimately trying to find out is increase in the average score of the boys. Now in the final exam, we know that the Average marks of all the girls is g minus three. We know the uh, marks of whole class. So, if I combine boys and girls, and if I find out the average of both boys and girls, I'll be getting the average of the class. So, girls in final exam they scored how many marks? There were thirty girls. All of them scored g minus three. So, total marks scored by girls in final exam will be thirty g minus ninety. Then, if we come to boys, I know that there were twenty boys, but I do not know the average marks of the boys in final exam. So. There were twenty boys. Let me assume that their average marks were B in the final exam, and I know the total marks of the whole class. So marks of boys plus marks of girls should be equal to marks of the whole class. So if I solve this equation, I'll be getting B. B is the average marks of boys in the final exam. So let me equate these: thirty G minus ninety. So thirty G minus ninety plus marks of boys twenty B. This will be equal to fifty G. If I calculate B from here, it will be equal to 20 G plus 90 divided by 20. So this will give me G plus 4.5. So the new average marks of boys is G plus 4.5. Earlier the average marks of boys was G minus 5. So what will be the increase? Final minus initial because we are finding out the increase in average score of the boys. So final minus initial G plus 4.5. This is final minus initial is G minus 5. So this will give us 9.5. Uh, as the final answer so option a will be the correct answer over here so that's it what you have to do is you always have to combine boys and girls you have to sum up their marks the sum of their marks should be equal to the sum of marks of whole class so if you still have a doubt please comment